Hi everyone, welcome back to Sonia's Prep. Today I wanted to take you along on how I do my morning cleanup routine. This video was filmed right after my husband's birthday party. It finished really late that night and I didn't have a chance to do my normal nighttime cleaning routine. So the house was left in a big chaos and I figured let me just record it and show you what I would do normally if I didn't have a chance to do my normal nighttime cleaning routine. So come along and join me. I always start off my morning routine with a cup of coffee and then I always take care of my room first. I make my bed and tidy up my clothes and move on to my kids' rooms. So now I'm going to be helping my son clean up his room, put all the extra clothes away, help him make all the beds. And this routine has been in place for so long now that all of my kids know that in order to watch a video or play a game or go outside, they first have to tidy up their space and then they can do whatever they want for the rest of the day. I then move the blackout shades away, make everything look nice and pretty. By the way, I love these blackout shades. They're such a lifesaver with kids who tend to wake up early. They're just the best. I close them up when everyone has to go to bed at night. It darkens the room really nicely and they're just a lifesaver. I really recommend them if you guys are struggling with putting your kids to sleep. Now I'm going to be moving on to my girls' room. For some reason, girls are just neater. There's not that much mess in this room. And so I'm just going to be helping her with the same. I'm going to be tidying up the space, making the beds. And for some reason, my kids started this new thing where they take off their pillowcases and they just go to sleep on the actual pillows. I don't know why they keep doing this. So you're going to see me um, getting them new pillowcases so that they can cover them up. Now moving on to my bathroom, I just changed out the garbage bag and wiped down all the surfaces and I'm now going to be moving on to the living room and dining room area. So as you could see, it's a hot mess on the table with all the alcohol out and I'm just going to be placing everything in its spots. You're going to see me going back and forth, so I'm just placing everything where it belongs. Once the table is clear, I'm going to be using my fantastic multi-purpose spray and I'm going to be wiping down the table.
Now moving on to the living room area, I'm going to be tidying up the pillows, putting all the shoes away into the closet, and all that alcohol on the floor, I'm going to be placing into our china closet. I always leave my kitchen for last. I just feel like there's so much more that has to go into cleaning up a kitchen. I'd rather do everything else first and then leave that to the end. And it is a really big mess. So I just, again, I'm going to be starting off by placing everything that needs to go into their closets and placing everything away. And then I'm going to be washing the dishes and wiping down all of the surfaces. Now I'm going to be putting away my mojito pitcher that I used for the party. I'm going to be wiping it down and leaving a paper towel inside just to absorb any of the fluids that I might have not wiped down. My three youngest, as you see in this video, are not here because this was their first day of daycare after this whole coronavirus thing and I was so excited this morning when I woke up and I only got out of bed, I feel like, even though I was so exhausted, is just to take them to daycare so they can get back into their routine, they can go and play and socialize and have a great time and I can have a moment to myself to clean up, tidy up and just have a few moments to do what I need to do in the house and I'm sure there are tons of you who totally understand me that when you're at home with your kids even though you love them and you want to spend time with them but it's just so hard to be able to do things that you need to do for yourself and I just want you to understand that I am totally with you I feel the same way and I was just so super excited and I'm not sure as how many of you are still cooped up at home with your kids stay, have to, having to stay home but I do feel you I totally understand my kids were with me as with many of us from from March and it's so nice that things are slowly normalizing and I'm hoping that going forward things will get more and more normal I've gotten a lot of messages on how I clean my stainless steel and this is what I use. I use Barkeeper's Friend powder and I'm going to be showing you how I use it to get any of those dark brown caked on oil spills and stains and I'll have it linked also in the description box of this video if anyone is interested.
At this point, all the rooms are nice and clean and tidy. The kitchen counters are for the most part empty with the way that I love them and they're nice and shiny. I'm going to be finishing off my morning cleaning routine the same way that I finish off my nighttime cleaning routine by placing this RoboVac on the floor. I love this RoboVac. It's just great at picking dirt up and I highly recommend it. I'll have it linked in the description box below as well if anyone is interested. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this morning cleanup routine. It was a quick tidy up. My kids helped me a lot with their own rooms. And I hope you guys really liked it. Give me a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you as a viewer. Please also comment down below with any other video ideas that you might have for me.